Good morning, Pre-K. This is Maldonado with the morning message. Let's start like how we did last week and let's do our spring yoga. I hope you're doing it at home too. We're gonna say hello to the sun. We're gonna pretend to be a tree. And afterwards we're going to be a bird and then pretend to be a raindrop and then pretend to plant those seeds. Okay, so today, something's going on with my calendar. It's all blank. If you guys were listening <clears throat> to Miss Garano yesterday morning, you would know that yesterday was the last day of April. Do we know what comes after April? Let's do our song. 12 months in a year. 12 months in a year. January, February, March, April. We are in the month of May. All right. And there are how many days in a week? There's seven days. There's seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, let's say it together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If yesterday was Thursday, today is Friday. And if today's the first day of the month, that means we put the number one. Okay, so today is Friday, May 1st, 2020. Okay, and that was our cat Sylvester. He wanted to say good morning to everybody. Alrighty, today the weather's going to be yucky again. I feel like every Friday I'm telling you it's yucky weather. Um, going to be cloudy. It's possibly going to rain. So today we'll just put <clears throat> a little cloud here. Oops, upside down. With some rain because it's possibly going to rain today. Okay. So that's the beginning. Today is the first day of May. Wow. I can't believe April is already gone. So April showers brings May flowers so we should be seeing lots and lots of flowers starting to bloom with all the rain that we've been having so since we've been talking about plants today i wanted to talk about flowers famous flowers did you know that there's famous flowers what i mean by famous flowers is that there are special paintings out there by artists and they thought that these flowers were so beautiful that they painted them a long, long time ago and they're very, very well known. So today, your challenge is going to be, you could either do one of the paintings that I'm going to talk about on your own at home, or you could go on the internet with mommy and daddy or who, whatever adult is with you and check out some famous flower paintings and you try to make it your own. You could make it 3D, you could cut it out of paper, you could use paint, you could use crayons, you can use markers, whatever you want. I'm gonna show you three special paintings today.